Hey, what's going on, you guys? The Freak here, coming at you from Microsoft Flight Simulator X for part two of episode one of my co-pilot series. Uh, just to recap where we're at, uh, we're flying from JFK to Los Angeles. We're somewhere over the Midwest right now, uh, coming towards Kansas City Center. We're uh, flying in the PMDG 777-200 uh, as American Airlines Flight 21 Heavy. All right, guys, so there's our notification from Kansas City Center. Let's go ahead and get a switch over to his frequency, give him a call. 133, 132.32, okay. City Center, American 21 uh, Heavy is with you, flight level 360. American City Center again. I didn't take American 21 Heavy. You got a radar identify us. American 21 Rider, Kazakhstan, North East, Fremont. Kansas City Center, American 21 Rider, Kazakhstan, North East, Fremont. So we're with Kansas City Center now. Uh, we'll just be cruising with him Italy, through his airspace for a little bit. Here in Southwest, 17, uh, Comcast. Legion 439, welcome back. What was the letter? Southwest, 1775. Yes, sir. Uh, we had. Uh, I just noticed in our flight plan. Actually, we had it filed for flight level three four zero. Uh, we had a uh, in, in the briefing. Anyway, we, we planned for any. Uh, we had a step climb up to three six zero. We crossed before we got into your airspace. Any chance you could change that to three six zero? Break twenty one. I need to climb up to Thanks for letting me All right. Thanks, sir. All right, guys, so we are about five minutes from our top descent now, uh, and I'm uh, looking at the approach charts for the Sea View 2. Uh, so, our first restriction is going to be 17,000 at the console intersection. That's Key Oscar, November, Zulu, Lima. Uh, so, let's go ahead and open up the legs information, make sure all that's put in. Yeah, 280, 17,000 at console, so let's go ahead and uh, put 17,000 in uh, for our first descent. Actually, we can go further than that. The next one, the next floor anyway, is going to be the Sea View intersection. Hmm. And that's going to be the last intersection along the arrival there. So the Sea View intersection is going to be floor at 12K. So let's go ahead and put the 12,000 in uh, for our descent here. Let's go ahead and prep for that. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the weather information actually for Los Angeles too and see what uh, see what we're going to be landing today, whether it's going to be east or west. <clears throat> right, so um, winds are showing 130 at 4 knots. Uh, relatively light winds. Um, 
However, they are still going to be out of, uh, they are still going to be out of the east, so we are going to be landing east. So, I'm um, just looking at the, the, uh, actually, what, uh, step away for a second. Um, I'm going to do just a little bit of research here, because I'm not 100% certain what terminal American Airlines uses at Los Angeles. Uh, so, uh, we'll be right back as soon as I, uh, or I'll be right back as soon as, um, as soon as I get that information. All right, guys, so after finally taking a look at everything, um, we are going to be coming in on the Charlie ramp, going to Terminal 4 at Los Angeles. Um, so we are going to be coming in from Charlie 10, which is on the south side of the airport, so we can go ahead and plan for 7 right, since we're going to be landing east today. So let's go ahead and uh, prep for that. Let's go ahead and turn the arrival in here. Uh, ILS 7 right. Let's see it there. Um, Let's go ahead and pull up our chart information for the ILS 7 right. Okay, there's the airplane prepping or uh, bringing the engines back, prepping for the descent. We are on our way out at 38,000 feet right now for uh, 17,000 across the intersection at Consul. Alright, so looking at the uh, looking at the ILS itself. Looking at the arrival itself, Exert is uh Exert's on the south side. We are coming from the east. Uh sort of northerly. Sort of. Not really. Looking at looking at our flight path, we're, we're kind of coming directly east from the field here. Oh, sorry about that. I had to click off the uh, screen there. Um, <clears throat> so because we're kind of coming from the east, I actually want to take Santa Monica VOR. Uh, we'll join a uh, downwind leg from Santa Monica VOR. And actually, um, from the Santa Monica, there are turns to get you base to final. But to be honest, once we get to the Santa Monica VOR, um, I'm going to tune for the ILS, but I'm going to fly it by hand, and I'm, I'm probably going to do a visual approach coming around. You know, a little more, more fun. You know, instead of just letting the computer do everything, because then I'm just sitting here click buttons, and that's 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 not any fun. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and plan for the ILS 7 right, take the Santa Monica VOR uh, to get a northerly base, and uh, we'll step back, I guess, once we get start getting closer there. All right, guys, so I definitely got wrapped up in uh, something else there, so I need to go ahead and get the altimeter tuned since we're coming out of 18,000 now. It's 300 er Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> 300 er and uh, the top altitude restriction for the sea view intersection, which we're coming up on now. LA should be somewhere over here on the left. Coming up. It's not below us, is it? It shouldn't be. No, 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 it isn't. I don't think. No, definitely not. That should be somewhere up here on the left. I'm not too familiar with the west coast here. So, we'll see how far up is... Oh, <laughs> we got a little, we got a good way to go here before we come up on that. So, let's zoom in a little further, see if we don't see anything. The one thing I do remember about doing approaches over here is the mountain range on the right side. I always thought this was so cool. It's difficult to see during the day. Or, I'm sorry, during the night, because everything kind of ends right there, and you see, like, a few small towns and buildings and stuff like that and up on the mountains, but... Uh, I always thought this was so cool being able to see <clears throat> everything over here on the right side as you're on the downwind leg. Right, so LA should be somewhere over here. It may be too far. It may not have drawn in yet. Is this the downtown area? I'm not sure. 
Uh, you know, I mean, a lot of you guys might be familiar with the West Coast, maybe from the LA or uh, the LA area here, so you would probably know a lot better than I would. But uh, anyway, so we're uh, we're coming out of uh, thirteen thousand feet now. Let's go ahead and get actually our checklist up. So we're in our descent. The recall's done. Already checked our notes. Uh, the auto brake actually. We can, uh, this is definitely early, but. Uh, we can go and set the auto brake. We are kind of heavy today, so I'm going to set the auto brake to three. Uh, landing data. So let's go ahead and go to the unit ref section. Um, again, we are heavy today. Uh, so I do want to have a better speed coming in. Plus, we have plenty of runway length. Uh, Los Angeles runway or runway seven right that we're going to be landing on is 11,095 feet long. We have plenty of space. So I'm actually going to go 20... 20 degree of flaps, 153 knots. Go with a little bit faster of a landing uh, than I usually do. I usually do slower landings, but uh, I'd rather not be on the bottom end of the flaps because if we kind of if we end up dropping speed at all, I want to be able to have a little bit of recovery room in there. All right, so landing data is good. Uh, approach briefing, so we already know we're taking a Smyrna view or uh, Smyrna <laughs> Santa Monica view. I'm so used to the New York area. We're gonna take the Santa Monica VOR to join the downwind here. You can see we're coming up on that here soon. Um, level up at 12. Oh wow, we're already at 12K, all right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, bring this on down for 5,000. Five thousand. It's going to begin the descent in for that. Uh, now it's actually going to stop us it should stop us at 7,000 at Santa Monica um, you know I'm actually going to change that to 7,000 oh, 7,000 or below I uh, originally had it at 7,000 or above let's make it 7,000 or below at Santa Monica <clears throat> we're a little bit above our descent profile there you can see uh, on the uh, the PFD now it's okay we're coming up on it Drag required, uh, that'll, that should disappear here in a little bit once, uh, that should go away here once we kind of come back on the descent profile. So we got 5,000 tuned in, it should put five, it should put our, our end of descent at the end there before that, or after Santa Monica here, which means we'll be on a decent descent, because I do want to be on five, at 5,000-ish. Whenever we're on the downwind there, so we can get a good view of the airport and uh, keep an eye on our turn. So the approach briefing's pretty much finished. So this, we're doing Santa Monica VOR. We'll have the ILS uh, for seven right. Actually, it's already tuned in. We've already got the DME showing up for it, for, even though we're on the other side. So uh, feels 24 miles away. Oh, so on the other side of this post. It's probably on the other side of this post. That's why I can't see it. Anywho. Um, yeah, it should be just off the left here. I know that ain't it. Anyway. Um, Alright, so this checklist finished. Uh, the approach checklist... Uh, why? Why are we getting a traffic, traffic. warning? Traffic. Off-scale traffic. Where is he? I, I was looking at um, some of the online, uh, other online traffic around the area. We did have uh, a Beechcraft Baron that was going to be coming in underneath us. This is drag required. All right, so let's go ahead and throw a little bit of drag in there. Okay, let's bring them up. Too much throttle starting to come up. All right, so we're going to throw about 50% of the uh, spoilers out there. All right, so we're coming in. Speed brake extended, that's what it's telling me now. All right, so speed brake. Uh, we, speed brake's on, but we don't really need it. To be right now, uh, we're we're a little early right now. We're still kind of ahead of everything at the moment. Uh, so the altimeters are already set. So the approach checklist is actually pretty much complete. Um, the landing checklist is what I want to jump into here in a little bit. 
<clears throat> Alright, so they actually want 170 at fumble. But we are going to manually change the speed here in a little bit before that. So let's go ahead and... What's our vertical speed right now? 700 feet per minute. All right, let's go ahead and control our vertical speed manually and let's bring that up to 1,000. And we'll bring the speed back to 210. And um, yeah, 210. We want to get a little ahead of this. I'm I'm one of the, I'm a more cautious flyer. Uh, particularly, the other thing is is that they they want you to go out to that. Um, how far out is that? 15 miles. completely wrong. It's like 10 miles. Um, they want you to go out to that 10 mile intersect, which is the Olaf intersection. Um, it's about 9 miles actually. Oh, there's LAX. It's nothing but black on the other side of this. It's so strange. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just odd to see. I know there's water, but it's just odd to see. Uh, anyway, I want to go ahead and bring it that back down to 210 just because then I can get the flaps in a different position and uh, we'll go ahead and get down to 5k. Actually, uh, let's go and set it for 4. Yeah, I know this is orange. It's telling me that because I'm too low. Oh man, look how good that looks. I do have an updated scenery, actually, for this, too. Hopefully it doesn't hit the frames too hard. We'll find out. Alright, guys, so <clears throat> I was looking at the approach plate, um, and they actually want 3,000 at Olaf. And actually, I was looking at the, the distance, the DME. Olaf is 19.7 miles on final. That is holy crap far. And then they want you to dip to 18,000 at 10 miles and then stop at 18,000. Well, no, it's at or above. It is. It's at or above. But still, at 3,000, then 1,800 at 10.9 miles and ride that for 6 miles to 4.9 uh, mile final at Fumble and then join the, uh, join the glide slope. Um... I'm not gonna do that. Uh, no, I, I wanna go ahead and turn in early and we are actually on a 12 mile final right now. I didn't wanna go out this far either. So uh, let's go ahead and kill the LNAV if I can do that. Actually, I gotta turn off the autopilot. Okay, that's not what I thought that would do. <laughs> uh, I did have a button on here to kill the autopilot either way. Buttons right here on the oak somewhere. Alright, you know. I know, autopilot disconnect. I wanted to do that. Alright, so we've gone ahead and disconnected the autopilot. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our left turn here to join base to final. I really have to go off. This is, this is what it's like in true IMC conditions. And I'm not even a VFR pilot. Like, I'm, I've, I've done... I've done a uh, a discovery flight, and, and I mean, I understand all of this. Yeah, let's hold it at 3K here. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to approach mode now on our navigation display. Let's take a look over at the airport here. We're actually far enough out; we've lost sight of the airport. Oh. Bring the nose back up here. We're dipping into 2500 now. Yep. There's the call out for it. So let's go ahead and keep the nose up. Uh, let's bring the speed back now to 170. Let's go and set flaps one. We've already got all of our lights on. No electronics, passenger seatbelt signs on. 
Landing lights are on to keep the nose up here so we don't lose too much altitude here. Let's go and set flaps five. All right, and we are far north. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit sharper of an intercept angle because we're looking at 30 degrees right now. I would much rather join early, so let's... Uh, yep, I know, 2,500. Let's keep the nose up here. Hmm? <laughs> set the trim. It's going to set flaps 10. Nope, sorry, flaps 15. There's no flaps 10 on this airplane. <laughs> yeah, I know, an altitude alert. I know. Calm yourself. I know. We're gonna ride it right here at 2,500 for now. We're really low and we're slow pretty early, so we should be all right. Did not want to go flaps 15 that early, really, but we're all right. All right, and we're just gonna kind of ride this out. Oh. Picking up a little altitude there, and the engines are coming up. <laughs> all right, so let's hold it right here. Let's try our best to hold it right here at 3,000. And from what it's telling us, actually, we're above the glide path. All right, well, let's push the nose over then. We came back up in altitude, so let's push the nose back over. Let's, uh, we're coming up on the glide slope, or on the localizer now, so let's go ahead and turn in. <coughs> Runway is in sight. <coughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. We are way above the glide path here, so let's go ahead and bring a little bit of drag here. Let's go ahead and bring drop gear. On localizer, above glide path, stable approach. Extend the spoilers all the way here to introduce some serious drag. We're a little high. I shouldn't have come back up. I should have stayed at 2,500. I didn't realize how how much closer we were getting there. We're gonna be landing a little fast, but we're all right. We're stable. We're on a localizer. A little bit left, so let's go ahead and correct for that. Thousand. Joining back up with the glide slope now. Four miles out. On glide path. Let's go ahead and drop the speed back a little bit further here. What was our 153? So let's go ahead and set that. We are on short final pretty much. Alright, so let's bring the nose back up. We are coming below glide path. <clears throat> Set final flaps to 20. Let's get our view centered up here. <laughs> Too low. Flaps. Too low. That's telling flaps. us that because Too it's telling us flaps. that because we only have flaps 20. Too low. Flaps. That's fine. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Little low here. Too low. Your nose up. You're down. Ten. Throwing a reverse thrusters. With the nose come down. We are stable. We are on the ground and we are stable. Nope. <laughs> Let's see if that differential brake comes in any further. We're below 80 knots. There's a terminal off to the left there. And we're going to take the high speed here. Actually, that's for all. It's the next one. That just felt a little too fast for me there. Oh, this differential brake is going to throw me off again. Let's keep, make sure we keep the speed up. There's nobody else behind us for now, so we're, we're pretty good. As far as I know, I didn't see anybody else in the vicinity, so. 
All right, we don't need the high speed there. Sword short of the other runway, I want to keep the landing lights and the strobes going. We can go ahead and kill the terrain radar there. Good left, good right, nobody lining up. I don't see any strobes or nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and bring throttles back up. Let's go ahead and get the APU going since we're on the ground now. Let's, okay, we can, if you could let me taxi before being an asshole about it. With, It'd be fantastic. Oh, here we go again. As soon as I apply a right, as soon as I apply any kind of rudder. Ugh. So we're actually going to take this first gate in here. All right, got the uh, marshal in sight. Let's go ahead and turn off the taxi light. Oh, uh, we shouldn't have turned off the taxi light yet. Can't see anything out there. Can't see where the line is even. This is ridiculous. Gonna bring the throttles back. All right, now I'm gonna call that in. Throttles down to idle. That's down. Let's come off the brakes. Go set the parking brake. Thank you. All right, so parking brake is set. Turn the fuel pumps off. Uh, going back to the hydraulic panel. Flaps up. We should have done that while we were taxiing in. Those are on their way back up. Let's go ahead and go through the fuel cutoff switches. <clears throat> Flaps are out. All right, so we're in. Well, let's go ahead and call it for the jetway. We are in. That looks good to me, guys. I can go ahead and kill the beacon, actually. Beacon's off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. We thank you for flying with us today. And we hope you'll join us next time on DeFreak's Co-Pilot Series. <laughs>